Before we start today's video, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Virtualize Everythings. First, Patreon subscriber, David Blankenship. We thank you for setting the cornerstone by contributing to help continue our endeavors to produce quality educational videos. Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be one called Backing Up Containers and VMs on Proxmox 7. I'd like to note that we're on Proxmox 7.1 right now, so if you have an earlier version, things may differ. Not by much, but they may differ. So, I've created a Proxmox installation, and inside of that, I have two containers that I've already created. Containers and VMs will both behave in the same way and have very similar manners for doing everything that we talk about tonight. So, the first way of backing up your container is going to be to select your container or VM, and then in this bar right here, select backup. As you can see, Mine was already selected. Then we can go up here to backup now. And we have some different options. Storage location. And if you followed one of my many other tutorials on adding storage locations, you will have others. But since this is really a default install intended for demo purposes for you, I just have local. So I'm going to be using local. Mode, snapshot, suspend, Stop. The snapshot uses the container or VM running in location. Suspend pauses it until it's finished and stop, of course, stops it. We'll use snapshot. Compression. Really don't need to play with this. I find that ZSTD is pretty much the default and go-to. And you can have it send you an email if you have that stuff set up. Then you can just select backup and your backup will take just a little bit depending on the size of your container. Some of my bigger containers I've had take an hour or so depending on what's going on. You'll notice during this process the container gets a little lock emblem and if the backup fails or something like that happens you'll stay locked. You'll have to use the unlocking process to begin working with that container again. If you run into that problem, I have a video on unlocking containers and VMs. All right, so our backup finished, and you can see now we have a backup that appears here, telling us what it is. We can click on it, highlight it, and add notes. Something like to tell us that it's CT1. If you're pushing your backups to a server or a Samba server or something like that, so they're remote, that's good practice because you may not know what they go to. But one detail for actually determining what they go to is to click the show configuration button. And you'll see here that the host name appears along with some other configuration information that Proxmox needs to know to set this container up again. So good information. You can also find since I'm storing these in local, here under local and backups, they'll show up again. If you had another drive for backups that you'd created using some of my other tutorials, you'll find them, the drives down below here, and you'll find your backups in the same location. So now that we know how to back up a container or a VM, you might be asking, can I do this on a schedule? Yes, you can do it on a schedule. To do it on a schedule, we're going to select data center, then backup, and be presented with this screen. Here we click add, and we configure a few options to tell Proxmox how we want to do our backups. Node, we're going to have VE. You can select all, it doesn't matter, but we're using this VE server. Now for storage, again, I'm using local. Use what you have on your system that you desire. Schedule. For this drop down, we have some choices that we can choose. Choose whichever works for you. Some of these seem a little ridiculous for a home lab, but 
they may have some corporate uses. I usually choose Sunday at 1 o'clock, but choose whatever you desire. Selection mode for VMs. VMs also means CTs or containers. They both work the same and both appear the same. So you can select whether it's all of them excluding the checked ones or including selected VMs. So the ones that are checked, all or pool based if you have pools configured. So for me, we're gonna include selected VMs. And I'm just gonna select both containers here. Send email, if this is configured, you can enter the email address here. Email notifications, you can select whether it's going to always notify you or only if the backup fails. Compression type, again, really don't need anything other than ZSTD. And our mode again, snapshot. Now we can hit create and our backup process will begin happening every single Sunday at one o'clock. So with that, we can go off and do our things. Come back on a Sunday after one o'clock and you'll find when you select local and go to backup, some backups. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video and found it educational and informational. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Virtualize Everything to help us continue to bring virtualization content to YouTube. As always, have a good night.